Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to start installing the vertical tails. Um, now these are simply just glued on, and the location is pretty easy because it's marked on the tube. So we have the top line, um, and this is our top one because the top one is bigger than the smaller one. Um, on the back, there's a little tick mark. I don't know if you can see it here, but that is going to go on that line, and then we can line up right between the two pieces of cardboard on the front line, and we're just going to glue it in place like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom fin. So Okay, so I don't know if you saw how I did that, but I started at the heel and then just kind of walked it down to the front line. So that keeps the glue from spreading around so much. And there's going to be a little bit of glue that oozes out. Um, so just go ahead and take your finger and wipe that off. It kind of adds to your fillet. We're going to add the fillets a little bit later after this dries. Um, if you turn it over, make sure to hold it on there tight like this. And I would recommend leaving this for a couple of minutes before we put the back one on the bottom side just so that glue can get nice and tacky and it holds without us, you know, in case we knock it, we don't knock it off. So I'm going to pause here for a second and let this dry a little bit before I put the bottom one on. It's been a few minutes, so I'm going to start putting the bottom fin on. Again, it's the same process. Uh, hit the, put the heel down first, line it up on that little tick mark, and then carefully push it down. Okay, again hold it, and then wipe off any excess. Okay, so that's ready. Our next step is to put the launch lug on and make sure that uh, those lines line up. Remember I told you this before, if it doesn't line up, redraw that line so that your back launch lug here lines up with the front one here. Uh, we do need to take the launch lug and cut it in half. Um, it's approximately three inches long so you'll just cut it right in the middle at one and a half inches. Try to use a little bit of a sawing motion to get it started. Okay, and I'm going to take some sandpaper and a sanding block and clean up that edge. Just rotating around, knocking any of the burr off the front end. I didn't cut straight, so that's what I'm doing. Just trying to straighten them up just so it looks pretty. So I'm going in circles here and rotating here. glue down to the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, that's one. Okay, and there's number two. And you just sight down them to make sure that they're both aligned and none of them are twisted. Um, if you really want to double check them, run a launch rod through there. Um, but mine look pretty good, so I'm happy with them. Um, so now I'm going to let this dry completely before I put my fillets on. Um, okay, so I'll be back for that next step.